hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install apache hadoop on your mac os specific on macbook m1 fixing all the possible errors so before moving forward apache hadoop software library is a framework that allows for the distributed processing of the large data set across the cluster of computer using simple programming modules so to install the hadoop we just need to have homebrew installed into our system so if you haven't installed homebrew i have already got one video for how you can install homebrew onto your system so once you install homebrew just open the terminal and just type brew install and just type hadoop so this should install hadoop onto your system so if you are doing it for the first time it might take some time to install so once this is done so you just need to make sure that you have java jdk and java home setup onto your system as well so if you haven't installed java jdk i have already got video for how you can install java jdk on your macbook m1 but for now you just need to install java 8 and java 11 only not the newer version so i have shown how you can do for newer version so you just need to install the older version for now so it won't be supported for newer version of java jdk so once you install java jdk and java home so you just need to open the new terminal just type command and n to open the new terminal side by side here and just type slash usr slash livexec and just type java underscore home and just click enter so you can see this java home path so we just need to add this java home into the one of the configurations so to find the configuration we just need to go into the location so just type cd slash opt slash homebrew and just type cellar and just type cellar and you just need to press on tab so that it will automatically detect just type sa and tab so this should go into hadoop and just type the version you have and just type livexec etc and just type hadoop and just click enter so you will be moved into this hadoop location and just type ls so inside here you can see all the files required for configuration of hadoop so now for now we just need to add this java home path into the hadoop env.assets so i will be opening with the vs code you can use other editor like nano or vim as well so for opening vs code let me just open the vs code first and i just need to press on command shift and p and just type cell so i will install the code command into the path so you just need to choose this one and just click enter and just press on ok so it will ask you to enter your password or fingerprint just do that and just click ok and once you do that just go to the terminal again and if you just type now code and just type hadoop env dot sh and just click enter so this should open this hadoop env dot sh into your vs code so down here you will be able to see this export java home so remove the comment and paste that path which you have just copied before not this one so i will just go to the terminal again so you can see you just need to copy this path so just copy this path and just paste it inside here so once you do that just save by using the command and s so once this is done so you are done with the step one so once you add the java home into your hadoop env.sh so you just need to make changes to your core files so for that i have got one article for how what you need to add or how you can add so just check out on the description i will put the link into the description so just type arjuncourse.medium.com and here you will be able to see this pinned article just go into this install hadoop on mac os or you can just go directly from description as well so down here you can see make changes to the core files so we just need to copy this so just copy this configuration so let me just copy from here and let me just again go to the terminal so inside here you will be able to see this core site.xml so you just need to open this again just type code and just type core site.xml and this will open inside the vs code so inside this configuration so we just need to add the configuration so let me just command and v to add inside here so you can see 
this has been added so let me just command s to save this file and once you make changes to the core file so we just need to make changes on sdfs file as well so for that again go here in the article and just copy this configuration from here and again go to the terminal and just type code and just type sdfs site dot xml just click enter and down here you just need to paste that command so let me just save this one as well so let me just save and again let me just go into the article and now we just need to make changes to the mapred file as well so let me just copy this from here so let me just copy this configuration and let me just go into the terminal again and just type code and just type sdfs not sdfs we just need to type the map rate site just type map rate site dot xml so this will open inside this vs code again and we just need to paste the configuration inside here let me just type command and s to save and again now we just need to make the changes to the yan file so for that let me again go to the article and down here let me just copy from here so let me just copy this configuration from here and let me just go to the terminal again and just type code just type yan site dot xml and just click enter and i just need to paste the configuration instead of this one so let me just save this as well and one file is missing here let me just check from here it's sdfs just type code sdfs site dot xml so it has already been added so you can see we have made changes in hadoop nb which is basically adding the java home and in core xml and map freight side xml and yan side xml and sdfs side xml so once we add all this configuration so we just need to go to the system preferences so just open the spotlight source and just type system preferences source and just type sharing just type sharing and you just need to make sure that you have ticked this remote login so just tick here and this should be fine so let me just close this one so once this is done we just need to format the name node as well so for that just go to the terminal again and you just need to type hadoop and just type name node and just type hyphen format so this will format the name node so once this is done so i just need to close this terminal or you can directly run the hadoop as well so now to open or run the hadoop you just need to let me just clear this first and just type start all dot assets and just click enter so this should start the hadoop so now we can just type jps to confirm if all the parts of hadoop has been installed and running or not just type jps and just click enter and if it shows these two only then the hadoop is not properly installed into our system so if you are getting this kind of error permission denied so i have found one solution in the stack overflow so let me just put this link into the description so you can just go here and just paste this command so let me just copy this and paste it inside the terminal so let me just paste it inside here let me just click enter and also register the authorized key so let me just copy this one as well and let me just paste it inside the terminal and if i just type start all dot ss now now this should work fine so now if i just type jps so you can see the node manager and name node data node all are started fine so if i just go to the browser again and just type localhost and just type 9870 and just click enter so you can see the hadoop is running properly into our system so i can now browse the file system so now to create the directory inside the hadoop i can just type just go to the terminal here and just type hadoop and just type fs hyphen mkdir and just type slash user just click enter 
So this will make the directory with slash user. So if I just refresh this again, so you can see the user directory has been created. So now if I want to create one more directory, so I can just type Hadoop and just type fs hyphen mkdir slash user slash arjun dot gotham. So this is my username. So this should create one more directory inside here arjun dot gotham. So now I just want to add the file into the existing directory. So for that, I just need to create one file inside the desktop. So let me just go here into the terminal and just type desktop. And let me just create one CSV file demo.csv. And I just want to add this demo.csv into this origin.gautam. So for that, I just need to type Hadoop fs hyphen put and just type demo.csv and slash user slash arjun dot gautam which is the directory inside this hadoop and just click enter so now if i just check inside this arjun dot gautam so you can see the demo dot csv file has been successfully added into the hadoop system so this is how you basically install hadoop on your macbook m1 thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel